Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim 3 killing the Elden Dragon and just fired a Dragon Ren shout and that causes the dragon to land here it comes into land and shooting it with the bow and arrow there's a couple of helpers and up it goes it's a fire breathing dragon. Now, where's it going now? Over there. There's the fire breathing. Let's fire a dragon wren shout at it. That should cause it to come back into landing. Look at all those rocks. He always lands in the exact same spot. Doesn't land anywhere else, so you know where it's going to land. That's its landing pad. Now I played this uh, particular part of the game in the Legendary Edition version of the game, and it was extremely hard so they've actually made it easier in the special edition perhaps a lot of people complained it was just totally roasting you in flames and that to hide but you know, I'm able to move around now in the special edition version As you can see, the health bar in red in the middle and bottom of the screen is decreasing. So I have to use a restoration, fast healing to increase it back up again. The other option is to uh, take a potion. There's a potion of healing or extreme healing, which increases the bar. Also food increases the health. So I've got the Ring of Major Archery, I now need to go back and select the, the bow, which I did. And also the Potion of True Shot, which boosts it with the hit power by 20%. Okay. I killed it, with the help of those two. What's now? Right, it cremates, that's right, it cremates. Usually the dragons leave a big skeleton, but this one, it burns up so hot, all its bones cremate. For bones to cremate to ashes, it needs to be at 700 degrees Celsius. Okay, thank you for watching my video and there will be another one later, so do check back.